Hey everybody, it's Jason with Threefold Solutions again. Today we're going to talk about the Home app in Planning Center. This is something that I haven't really talked a whole lot about in the past, but I really feel like it's underutilized. A lot of folks don't understand what these widgets do that are found there. Not to mention we have some tasks and some other features that kind of connect with the home screen and other apps, and I want to explore that today as well. I'm going to give you a quick tour, show you how to set up some of these things, and I also want to make sure you understand some of the benefits of the metrics that you can also add here. So lots and lots of different widgets. All that coming up in the video, but I wanted to first say we love making these videos for people who use Planning Center. We're going to keep cranking out this video content for people who just want to go a little bit deeper and learn a little bit more about Planning Center. But do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, share this with somebody else you feel like could benefit from some of these videos also. We'll keep making them. Let's jump into that video and take a look at the home screen. Okay, here we are. We're taking a look at the actual home app. Now, I don't know if you've actually found the home screen or not, but let me just show you where it's at. I'm certain if you've logged in for the first time, you had to have seen it because it's the first thing that's going to show up on your very first login. Now, if you've been using Planning Center for a while, maybe you haven't seen that actual introduction to the home app area, but it's the very top of your app drop down and it's called home. I've clicked on it. I'm already there. I just want to show you that these are dashboards. It's the first thing you're going to see when you pop into the home screen or the home app. I have several set up here, but I want to kind of explore this one and show you how you can kind of set this up and utilize some of this information. Now, I would consider the home app to be one of those places you might visit when you start your week. Monday morning, you come in, you kind of want to see what's happening this week across the board. That's one way to utilize it. But then we also have these other types of widgets, and each one of these little squares is referred to as a widget. Each app inside a planning center has different types of widgets with different types of information that you can utilize. But in part of that, you also have different kinds of widgets and some are called metrics and some are just basic widgets with standard information in them. Now, if you're building out my dashboard, you might build something like this and you can see here I've got a notepad. That's really cool. It's a new feature that's just been added just, just a recent while ago and it's basically a way for you to take notes and set little note reminders for yourself. Now, if you click on the little sprocket or the gear icon, you'll see that you have this notepad area and it's a way for you to add some information in here. I just created something here that's like, hey, here's an important note that I really need to remember. And I'm going to stare at it every single time I come into the home area because it's right here front and center. Now, you've got these little dots that allows you to pick it up and move it and reorder these cards or these widgets and put them in different orders based on how you'd like to review your information. There's all kinds of widgets you can add here. I've got my workflow cards that are showing me, you know, workflows. Now, granted, this is my sandbox. So a lot of the information you're going to see here is kind of bogus, but I just wanted you to kind of see I have my workflow cards here. If I click on this, it's going to take me right over to that workflow so I can work on that card. If you scroll down, I can have different things that I might be dealing with from new profiles and this is all fake information, but you can see I can keep an eye on all of those new profiles coming into the system just by having the new profiles widget up. The other thing is maybe I'm leading some groups and I'd like to pay attention to what's happening in those groups. I also could use calendar widgets to see if I'm an approver and who's asking for approvals. I can go you know, basically set this up to mimic what my role and responsibilities are. Now, the way that you add these widgets is you click on add widget, and then you get this drop down. Now, depending on the permissions that you have for which apps, you'll have different choices here. You may not have quite as many as I do, but there's lots of different ways you can utilize this for the apps that you have. Now, I think some of the cool ones are like check-ins. You can see right here, first time visitors is the first widget you could take a look at. If you're somebody in the children's ministry and you're wanting to pay attention to how many first time visitors you've had this past weekend, you can set this and you could look at one specific check-in 
and see how many new first time visitors you have in that one checking event. You can look at the period of time here, last week or last month. And then if you click on the second drop down, you also have some other cool features. Here's another one like most popular stations that have been used recently. And you could look at, you know, again, specific events and last week or last month. This is kind of cool if you want to know the traffic flow, how many people are using this station versus that station. So pretty cool widget. And then right below that, you'll notice we have the metrics. Now, metrics are the way for us to keep track of our attendance, our head counts, and see the numbers for that. Now, I'm going to close this for just a second because I like to create additional dashboards. And I've got one here called Leadership Overview. And you'll notice here, I've got all kinds of different metrics widgets, and it allows me to say, here's what's happening across these particular areas like attendances. I can also have one where it's just for adults or I could have just a kid's attendance widget where I can keep, a, keep an eye and keep track of what's happening specifically in this area where we use check-ins to take attendance. I can also see what's happening in my groups. I can see how many people are scheduled in one widget. So by the way, each one of these widgets also has options found under the little sprocket or gear icon. So sometimes with scheduled scenarios, I don't want it to always say attendance because you'll notice here, this says scheduled. So I might say this is volunteers scheduled. And the nice thing about that is I'm just looking at people who said, yes, I will be there. They've confirmed they're going to be there. I can be specific about the service type and even the team if I want to. And I'm just going to say all here. And then I can even include unconfirmed statuses as well. You can do 12 months, 13 weeks or 30 days. Let's just do 30 days. And the nice thing about this is this is volunteer scheduled. But what if I'd like to do volunteer scheduled and I'd like to add another widget with metrics again. So I have to go to services here and I have to choose from these two kind of general widgets to the actual metrics widgets and like I said I chose scheduled previously but now I'd like to see attendance so this time I might call this one volunteer attendance and that's assuming that you're using a check-in a volunteer check-in on your Sunday morning kind of check-in process so that your volunteers can check in. And now you can have two widgets. You can have one for the people that said, yes, I'm planning to attend. And you can have another one that shows the people that actually did attend and checked in. I like to use these two side by side so I can see if I have healthy teams. What that allows me to do is see how many people say they're gonna be there, how many people actually show up. And the difference here is, I like to know if I have a healthy team. Like if people are saying I'm going to be there and they're not really showing up, there might be something else going on there. I might need to have a ministry moment or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So use these things to benefit you, whether you're doing it for yourself or you're doing it for your leaders. It's a great way to give them a quick glance overview. We used to call this the weekend at a glance or the week at a glance. And we would review it on Monday morning. And we put all of the metric widgets on here that were related to the areas of focus that people wanted to see. So if you're paying attention to new people coming into the system, you might look at new profiles. There are all different kinds of widgets that you can track attendances on or just participation on. But when you add an app here, you're able to see all different kinds of widgets that relate to just those specific areas or apps. And in this case, we have people that are added to workflows in people. We have completed workflows so we can keep track of what's happening in those. And then we can also see just the new profiles so we can track how many people are coming into the system as well. It's really handy. I love these widgets. Again, start off with one, just play around with it. Add some widgets that are specific to you and what you do and the areas that you watch over. And then play around with some of the things like the notepad. And there are other things. Now, the notepad is found under the home area. And then you'll also notice I've got a quick links area here too. So if you wanted to do something other than a notepad and you're basically just doing like I did here, you're adding some links that you need to refer back to, or maybe you're just hanging on to those little shortcuts so you can jump over to those areas quickly. That's another use for it. All kinds of ways to utilize this. Now, 
That's only half of the home screen. Let's talk about the other half, and that's the tasks. Now, tasks are pretty cool, and again, it's just a little bit of project management that Planning Center is kind of bringing into the fold here. So the cool thing about this is the idea that we can now have like little reminder tasks that not only help us, but they also are shareable or we can add collaborators and we can add other people to our tasks. So if I need to assign somebody else a task, I can do that. Now, the way that this works is the first thing you're going to see is my tasks. And I've got all kinds of lists here, but I'm just going to show you if I wanted to create a new task right over here on the right, I just click on add task. Now, you're going to notice this just popped out from the right hand side. That's where this little clipboard icon comes into play. You've got a few icons down the right hand side here. This stands for our chat and this has to do with chat in services or groups if you're utilizing chat. And then this one, this little clipboard has to do with tasks. So if I were going to create a new task, I'll just call it new task. And this is a description. So your description goes here and be detailed with your description, especially if you're going to share this with somebody, you know, make it obvious what the task is that they need to do. And then down here you'll notice that I can add this to my inbox or I've also got other lists here. I could add it to one of my other lists. So if I'm working on several task lists, I can add a task at any time and then I could throw it into one of these other task lists. So keep that in mind. Add a due date. When is this due? And then does this repeat? Do you do this task all the time? Then set it up as a repeating task so that you can constantly be reminded that you need to go set something up or you need to do something. That's what it's good for. That's the whole purpose of it. If with mind, I'm not going to repeat. So I'm just going to click create task and you'll see that it just added it down here in the inbox and it's now there. Notice I've got a test task is here showing up here as well. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention are these lists. This is pretty cool. So you've got a couple extra buttons here and I'm going to click over here and I'm going to say either create list from template. Those are down here. We'll talk about that in just a minute or just create a new list. And the idea here is that you can collaborate in this area. So if I say, hey, we've got this one event coming up and I'm going to call this the event task list. I can now save that, create this special task list. Now I've just used blue across the board, but let's make this one purple because obviously Obviously, we can set up different colors as well. And then I might want to add some other people. So I might say, you know what? Let's manage the collaborators and add a few other people on my team. So I'm going to add my good buddy, Michael here, and he's the co-founder along with myself at Threefold Solutions. So we, we could use some tasks. We need stuff to do. So now both of us have the ability to have a task. I'm going to go in here and create a task in this list, and I'm going to call this, you know, order t-shirts. I don't know. It could be anything. So let's just say we're, you know, description goes here. Description of action. Oops, I didn't spell that right. To be taken. Action to be taken. Now, this is our event task list. That's the one I've created, but you could throw this in somewhere else if you wanted to. I'm just going to keep it in the list though. Notice now we have the assign to option right here. So now I can go down and say, hey, I'm going to give this to Michael and he will be notified when I assign this task to him. And then you can go ahead and put the date in here that he needs to have those t-shirts ordered by. So let's go ahead and order those. And then of course, once again, if this is repeating, go ahead and set it up for repeating. So let's create the task. We've now put it in here and you can now see his little initials there, little avatar. And now I know that I've assigned that to Michael. Now, the cool thing about this is not only can you create things from this little clipboard icon, but you can also review by clicking this little go back icon here. And now I can go back and review the tasks that I have going on. And I can even look at my very specific task lists and see what's happening just inside that one list and go, oh yeah, that's right. I assigned that to Michael. I'm waiting to hear back if those t-shirts were ordered. Now, Planning Center, really likes to make sure that we always follow up with people and nobody falls through the cracks. So you're also going to notice they've snuck workflows in here as well. If you're somebody who also works on workflows, if you have a card waiting for you, it will also show up right here in this little clipboard icon area. I think it's kind of cool that they snuck it in there. So there's tasks. Those are the things we're working on with other people in lists. And then there's also that little workflows bonus option here when you click on that little clip. 
clipboard. Now, here's another note for you. You may or may not realize this. If you're a user of the People mobile app, you will also find this little clipboard icon down at the bottom in the buttons of the mobile app that you can click on and see these tasks. It's not the only place you'll find it. It's also in the calendar mobile app. So if you also use the calendar mobile app, go to the bottom, click on the little clipboard icon, and you'll be able to manage your tasks there as well. Just wanted to throw that out there in case you've never taken a look at some of the mobile apps. Now you've got the ability to add those tasks and manage those as well. Okay, one more thing about these tasks that I think are important. Down at the bottom, you've got something called a template. Now, sometimes we have events throughout the year and we have them every single year. Let's just use VBS as an example. Sometimes we have a VBS and we have some things that we need to do and we always do that every single time we have the event. That's where this template comes in. It's just like a list. You can add other folks to it and you can have collaborators in here. But the cool thing about it is you can add this additionally to the calendar, to an event in calendar. And what that allows us to do, see this little, this little calendar icon? It shows that we have the ability to manage connections. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is a connection? You may have never seen it or used it before, so let me just quickly demonstrate. When you have one of these templates set up, you have the ability to go down to calendar. So let's jump over to calendar for a second. Now my calendar is a mess. Forgive me. It's, it's just a bunch of junk in here. So I'm just using it for all different kinds of things, but I'm going to just grab this start here event. Now, it has nothing really useful in it, except for the fact that I want to take you to this connections tab. When you look at an event, and you go to the connections tab. I should do a whole video on this because it deserves one. But right here, you'll notice that you have the ability to connect to other apps. And one of the functions is the home screen task lists. If I click on add a task list, I can go search or just look for a list that I've already created and I can go add that list to this. And here, here's my template, internal staff event tasks. And then I'm adding it here. And then I can even add a, event managers as collaborators additionally. So if I have event managers on this calendar item or event, I can add them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create it. And as soon as I do, it pops up down here. It says zero of the three tasks are completed. It shows Michael and myself now on here. And I can keep track of is one or two of the three are completed completed, I now have a place to go and actually see that it's been completed and I've got some of those things done that I have to set up for this particular event that we've got going on. I'm going to do another video on just the connections kind of dashboard here within calendar. So keep an eye out for that one and we'll explore all of these different things. But one more thing, once that's connected, I want to mention on the overview tab here with a calendar event, you can also see those tasks and you could even add them right here. I just wanted to demonstrate the connections tab so you could see it. But don't forget, this is a handy, handy thing to have here. It just helps you kind of keep track of some things. And like I said, it's not super heavy on the project management side, but it is a little bit of project management that I love having on one platform, Planning Center. I can keep it right here in the silo of everything else that's going on in the church. I don't have to go use, you know, three different apps to do all this stuff. Thank you, Planning Center. That's a big deal to me. Okay, so let's jump back over to the home screen. That is basically everything I wanted to cover in this video. I want you to jump in here, start playing around with it. Use the little plus sign to create additional tabs. If you find that you want to share this with somebody else, you can also add collaborators to your dashboards. And you'll see right here, if you're looking at a particular dashboard, click on the little dots, manage collaborators, do the exact same thing. And this time, you've got the ability to add people who can view it, add some leaders, add some different people on your team, or add a manager. And what that means is that person can not only view it, but they can also add additional widgets to your dashboard if they want to. So that's kind of cool. It does allow you to build a dashboard and then share it with others. Sometimes for your leadership team, that's all they need to keep an eye on how things are going and what things look like in these different areas of ministry. So 
Go play with it. Get familiar with it. Start using the Home app in Planning Center. It's amazing. It's got some great widgets. I think once you start your week or your day off going here, you'll get so used to kind of checking down on everything that you won't do without it, honestly. All right, that's everything we wanted to cover today with the Home app. I hope you learned something. Again, share this video with somebody who can benefit from it. And go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and we'll keep cranking out more and more Planning Center videos. Have a great week.